Okay, so we're doing the dreaded NDB approach here. Do we even need to practice these anymore? Does anyone still have a working ADF in their plane? It's becoming less and less common to fly a true NDB approach without some kind of GPS assist. Practicing these approaches does wonders for our situational awareness. So it's kind of like eating your broccoli. It's not really fun, but it's good for us. So for this video, I'm gonna rely on the excellent IFR simulator by Fergo. You can see the link below. I encourage everyone to check it out and work on their skills. The ADF in our planes has one simple function. It has an arrow which points the direction of the NDB station we're tuned to. If our nose moves left or right relative to the station, the arrow will respond accordingly. The easiest way to use these is to fly towards the station by continuously keeping the arrow pointed ahead or homing to the station. But with a little work, we can fly a lot more precisely and keep a specific inbound course like you'd find on any instrument approach. Let's look at an NDB approach. This is the NDB runway 24 into Shannon Airport in Virginia. An aircraft approaching from, let's say, the north will first fly to the NDB, which is located on the field, make a left turn to intercept the outbound course. The outbound course is 0, 5, 7 degrees. A good intercept is 45 degrees, so if we subtract 45 from 57, we'll get our intercept heading of 0, 1, 2 degrees. Once we pick up the outbound, we'll fly the 0, 5, 7 heading and then do the procedure turn, which involved turning right to the heading listed there is 102. After one minute, we'll make a left turn to 282 so we can intercept the inbound course. Notice that the 282 degree heading is also a 45 degree intercept for the 237 inbound course. Once we're established inbound, we'll fly that 237 course to the runway. And just for grins, let's throw in a little wind out of the north so we can practice how to do a drift correction on this approach. Now we start by depicting the NDB symbol there, and our aircraft is approaching from the north. At the bottom of the screen, we've got our ADF on the left and our heading indicator to the center. This ADF has a movable compass card, which is going to help us out greatly as long as we keep our current heading dialed into that card. Instruments like a radio magnetic indicator would do this job for us, but with this instrument, we'll need to dial in our heading ourselves. Just remember that the key to flying these approaches is to keep updating our current heading by dialing it into that ADF. Let's get the approach diagrammed into this here. There's the inbound course of 237, and there's the procedure turn, first to 102 degrees, then to 282 degrees. Let's also get those headings we identified before in here to help us out. And we can add these to our instrument approach brief too. Now we've also put in a little wind from due north. The first thing we wanna do is fly toward the station. Notice the needle is on the left. Remember to push the head, pull the tail. So to push that head, that's off to the left, we'll turn to the left. We'll stay in that turn until the arrow is pointed straight ahead and hold that until we've passed the station. Once we get station passage, we'll start our left turn to the intercept heading of 012 degrees. After we start the turn, let's twist the ADF to 012, so that's up top. Now once we roll out and our heading indicator and ADF match, watch the butt of that arrow. We're looking for when the back end or tail or butt is pointed to our outbound course of 057. We use the head of the arrow for inbound, but the tail of the arrow for outbound. When that happens, we know we'll have intercept the course and we can turn right. Just as the butt end approaches 057 degrees, we'll start our right turn for the outbound leg. Now here's where a little guesswork comes in. We know we have a wind from the north, which is a left crosswind on this leg. So let's anticipate a little wind correction. So instead of flying 057, let's try 045 and we'll turn the ADF to 045 as well. If we did our job well and are on course, the butt end of that arrow will be on 057. But notice here, it's just a tad to the right. It's not the end of the world and more importantly, notice that the arrow isn't moving. So even though we're to the right of course, we're not getting further away or closer to it, just flying parallel. This means that we guess correctly with our wind correction. The 045 heading corrects for the wind to give us our 057 course. We'll remember that later, but for now, let's get back on course. Push the head, pull the tail, remember? So let's pull this tail, which is slightly right of 057, by turning a bit to the left. We'll fly 040 and set that in the ADF as well. Now notice the tail of the needle slowly moving left towards 057. That shows us correcting. Once we're back on course, we can resume our 045 heading because we already know that's the appropriate wind correction. It's about a 10 or 12 degree wind correction.
Now we'll start our procedure turn by first flying to a heading of 102. In the airplane, we'd time this leg for a minute before starting a left turn inbound. Things aren't necessarily to scale as we set them up here in the simulator. So after a bit, we'll make a left turn as indicated to 282 to intercept the inbound. We'll set 282 in the ADF also. Once we roll out on that 282 heading and we've got that set into the ADF as well, we're going to be looking for the head of the arrow this time to be pointed at the inbound course of 237. Let's think about how we want to correct for wind flying inbound. When we were outbound, we used a 12 degree correction to the left, so inbound we can correct 12 degrees to the right, of course. So let's plan to turn to 249 or 250. So as the arrowhead is moving from right to left, we'll anticipate starting our turn when it gets near the inbound course of 237. We'll start the left turn to 249, 250 and match that heading into the ADF. If we did our job, the arrow should be pointed at the inbound course of 237, which it looks like we've gotten here. Notice it's not pointed directly straight ahead due to that wind correction we have. I noticed that arrow creeping just a little bit to the right, so I might correct that. Push the head, pull the tail. We'll push to the right, five degrees, and match that in the ADF. That looks okay, but maybe I overdid it a little since now the needle is moving to the left. So let's push the head left and come back another five degrees and match it in the ADF. We can make fine adjustments from there the same way, just remember. Push the head, pull the tail, and always set your new heading into the ADF. The goal is to keep the arrowhead pointed at your inbound course of 237. The needle gets more sensitive as you approach the station, and hopefully by this point you've got the runway in sight. So that's the NDB approach simulated. There's a lot going on, so feel free to watch this video a few more times, and let me know if you'd like to see the same approach flown in flight simulator, and I'll set it up in the next video so you can see it in practice.